We've got some breaking news right now on Moderna, though. Meg Terrell with the details. Meg. Hey, Sarah, Moderna out with a look at its phase three trial participants one year out after getting their first doses, giving a picture of how immunity looks like it starts to wane. What they did was they looked at the people who got the vaccine in the trial versus the people who were initially on placebo, but then switched to the vaccine later. And that gives you essentially a picture eight months out for some of the people getting their first shots versus 13 months out for those earliest people in the trial. And what they find is that a year out, you're seeing a lot more breakthrough cases, 162 out of about 14,000 people in that group versus 88 for people who got vaccinated more recently out of about 11,000 people. And so you do see a higher rate of breakthrough cases the longer you are from getting vaccinated. Now, when you start to look at severe disease and hospitalizations, the numbers get very small there, luckily, but you do see higher numbers of severe cases and hospitalizations in the people who are further out from their first dose. So Moderna putting out this data saying it should add uh, to the data set that public health authorities are looking at as they're considering whether and when we will need COVID booster shots. And of course, guys, there's been such debate this week, that letter in The Lancet, co-authored by two of the vaccine regulators saying there's no evidence there's waning for severe disease, so we don't need boosters. All of this ahead of Friday when outside advisors to the FDA meet to discuss Pfizer's booster application. Just a lot swirling here. A little more data for us about that waning immunity, well, guys. Uh, Meg, that's exactly what I was going to pick up on. I mean, firstly, it's just amazing that we've got one year data now, how time flies. But 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 this surely does suggest, on the surface at least, despite what you just mentioned uh, from the regulators in the, in the, in the Lancet recently, that boosters will, will be helpful. Yeah, you know, the, the argument from the folks in the Lancet, these FDA regulators, is that they haven't seen convincing data yet that protection against a severe disease starts to wane. And this is a controlled clinical trial setting. Of course, these are placebo folks who switched over to the vaccine. We'll see if this adds to the strength of the data uh, that they're looking at there, because a lot of the criticism of what they've looked at is it's real world evidence from Israel, for example. We're going to see all of this get debated publicly on Friday. And guys, I'm, I'm bringing popcorn. Yeah, I was just going to ask, Meg, when we expect an actual FDA decision on boosters, on the Pfizer shot, on the Moderna shot, and, and whether those are being considered differently because of different dosages and how, how, how that is going to all unfold. Well, we're going to see the FDA's panel of outside advisors review just Pfizer's application on Friday. And we did see uh, the briefing documents come out today, both from the FDA and Pfizer, on that application. We understand that the FDA may be evaluating Moderna's application a little bit later. And of course, as you mentioned, it is a different dose from Moderna's previous two shots. It's half the dose. We don't know how long that's going to take. But this, of course, all in the backdrop of the U.S. wanting to start rolling out booster doses to people eight months from their first shot next week. And so will we see the FDA decide after a vote on Friday from its outside advisors on this? Then the CDC needs to weigh in. We heard from the White House today that will likely happen next week. Their advisory committee meeting uh, committee will meet. And so this will all start to unfold over the next week or so, at least for Pfizer, maybe a little bit later for Moderna.